His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 123 of the year 2021, designating the Minister of Finance and National Economy as the minister responsible for the shareholders' duties at the Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, as stipulated in Mumtalakat's bylaws. His Majesty the King also today issued Royal Decree 124 of the year 2021, appointing Wahid Mbarak Sayyar as the Kingdom's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Syria. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 69 of the year 2021, amending the list of allied health professions issued by Edict 24 of 2016. Edict 24 of 2016 shall be amended as follows. Adding a new item to paragraph 18, anesthesia technician adding a new paragraph number 28, health promotion, health promotion specialist. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa along with the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the President of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, the IPU, Duarte Pacheco at the Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of building upon the success of Bahrain's comprehensive development plan led by His Majesty the King. He noted that strengthening cooperation between the Council of Representatives, the Shura Council and regional and international legislative institutions will support the national parliamentary process and enhance the Kingdom's legislative structure. He highlighted the IPU's efforts to enhance legislative work in support of sustainable development. For his part, Pacheco expressed his thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening international legislative cooperation and commended the Kingdom's legislative work success in this field. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fauzi Abdullah Zainal, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah Saleh, also attended the meeting. The commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the commander of the Naval Forces of the U.S. Central Command, commander of the 5th Fleet, Vice Admiral Charles Bradford Cooper. His Highness welcomed the guests and reviewed the bilateral relations and the means of enhancing military and defense expertise. His Highness praised the historical friendship relations between the two countries and stressed commitment to consolidating security and peace in the region and achieving the common interests of both countries and people. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated the Al Dur Hall in the presence of Deputy Governor Brigadier General Isa Thamar al Dusiri and a number of dignitaries from the Southern Governorate. His Highness praised the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the services, social and development. He affirmed that the Governorate is keen meeting the needs of citizens through field visits and direct communication in achieving everything that is in line with the visions and aspirations of the citizens in the El Dur area and the rest of the governorate in general during the ceremony. His Highness the Governor of the South honored the contributors to the establishment of the whole. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, held a press conference with the CEO of Temkim, Hussein Mohammed Rajab. The minister affirmed that the industry sector strategy will contribute to strengthening the economic position of the kingdom to reach a developed and sustainable industry based on innovative and advanced initiatives. He said that the framework of the economic recovery plan included the development of the state's productive service and economic sectors in accordance with the visions of His Majesty the King. The Minister added that the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister attaches great importance to supporting the industrial sector as per the objectives of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He said that the strategy revolves around increasing the contribution of the industrial sector to the GDP, increasing the export of the industrial sector of national origin and providing job opportunities for citizens. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,202,281 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,176,890 had taken the second, and 833,318 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,374 with 86 recoveries and 401 registered new cases. 137 of the new registered cases are expatriates, while 201 are contacts of active cases with no deaths.